Hi, it's Logan from Sleepopolis.com, and today I'll be doing a review of Helix mattresses. Now, Helix recently revamped their line. They offer six different models in their standard line, along with three specialty models. Today, I'm going to be looking at the moonlight and midnight versions of their mattress. One has a little bit more of a plush feel. The other has a little bit medium feel. We're going to put the mattresses through a few tests and give some general recommendations at the end of the review. But if you are interested in a personal recommendation, please feel free to leave a note in the comment section below with some information about yourself and some of your sleep references, and I'll be sure to get back to you. I'm gonna start out talking about the construction of these mattresses and begin with the cover, which is the same on all of the Helix mattresses. It's 100% polyester. It's pretty thin. I found it to be really breathable. Now they also offer this ultra cool cover, uh, which is also 100% polyester, but it's made with a phase change material. A phase change material is known for kind of drawing heat away from the sleeper. And when you first touch it, it actually feels cool to the touch. So it will help you sleep a bit cooler. So now that we've talked about the cover, let's get a look at the layers of the mattress. All right, so first up, we're taking a look at the construction of the Moonlight mattress. Now the Moonlight is one of Helix's two plush feels. This one has what they say is a little bit extra support to help with uh, more positions than combo sleepers, back sleepers, things like that. Now the top layer is what they call their Helix Dynamic Foam. It's a latex alternative. So basically it is pretty soft. You're gonna sink into it pretty quickly. You can see that quick response to pressure like a latex foam has. It's also gonna be good for kind of temperature regulation and cooling. So with that quick response, you're gonna have some mobility. You're gonna be able to change positions pretty easily. Now below that comfort layer, we have a transition layer of polyfoam. It is maybe just slightly firmer than the, uh, you know, these Helix Dynamic Foam up on top. And it's gonna transition you from the soft comfort layer as you go through the mattress into the support layer here, which is a pocketed coil support layer. Now pocketed coils are nice because they provide that springiness that you might expect out of a traditional inner spring mattress, but they are individually wrapped, so they move independently. They're a little bit better for motion transfer and give a little bit more contouring to the body than a traditional inner spring layer would. They also create a lot of airspace in the mattress, which is gonna help with breathability. Now at the base of the mattress, you have a high density polyfoam layer. That's really not gonna affect the feel of the mattress too much. It's really just for those pocketed coils to press off of. Now we're taking a look at the construction of the new Helix Midnight Mattress. Now remember this is a bit of a more medium feel as opposed to the plush feel from the Helix Moonlight. Now up on top in the comfort layer, we have a memory foam layer. It's pretty thick and you know memory foam is going to allow you to sink into it. You're gonna feel kind of that contouring around your body. You can see that slower response to pressure. So whereas in the latex alternative layer on the moonlight, you're gonna feel that quick response to pressure more on top of the mattress, a little bit more mobility. You're definitely gonna feel kind of more in the mattress with the midnight. Now uh, below the memory foam layer, we have another uh, polyfoam transition layer. This one is a bit firmer than the transition layer in the moonlight. You're gonna get a little bit more of that firmer feel uh, causing uh, the moonlight uh, to be a bit, uh, again, softer than the midnight. So this is gonna give you more of that medium balanced feel with the comfort layer being memory foam, gonna be probably a little bit better for side sleepers, but we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Now below that, again, we have a pocketed coil system. All of the Helix mattresses are hybrid mattresses, so mixtures of foam and coil. So again, you get that uh, bounce and support from the pocketed coil layer, just like on the moonlight. And again, at the base here, we have a high density polyfoam layer for the pocketed coils to push off of. Now that we've seen what makes up the mattresses, it's time to get an idea for the feel and firmness of them. So I'm starting here on the moonlight, I'm pressing into the cover. Now that uh, Helix Dynamic Foam is really soft. It gives in really easily. It has that quick response to pressure like a latex would. It's that latex alternative foam. So really quick response to pressure there. I'm gonna lie on my back here. Now lying on my back, I feel like I am already sinking into the mattress. Uh, it is the plusher version of the mattress, so it's not really unexpected for a softer foam, even with my weight evenly distributed, to feel like I'm kind of sinking in. But because it does have that quick response to pressure, I'm able to move around really easily, uh, change positions without feeling stuck in the mattress at all. So as I move over here to the side, check out the edge support. The edge support can be really important if you share your mattress with a partner. Uh, you know, 
you don't want to move over to the side of the bed and feel like you're going to roll out of bed and collapse to the side. So edge support can make the bed feel a little bit bigger. Over here you can see I am definitely compressing through those softer foams. That's to be expected with soft foam like that. Uh, but I think that the pocketed coil system is actually doing a pretty good job of supporting my weight over here. I don't feel unstable or unsteady or anything like that over here on the side. So I'm gonna roll over on my side here. Now, like I mentioned before, the Moonlight version of the mattress is one of their two plush versions of the mattress, which are generally good for side sleepers. Side sleepers tend to like softer mattresses. Uh, because of that increased weight concentration, you sink further into the mattress, you tend to interact more with the firmer support layers of a mattress, which can cause pressure to form. Uh, we see that a lot with side sleepers. Uh, two trouble areas are the shoulders and the hips. We're gonna take a closer look at pressure later on in the review, but I did wanna point out, I feel pretty comfortable on my side here. The, again, this is the uh, one of the two plush versions of the new Helix line, uh, so pretty good for side sleepers. So I'm gonna roll on my stomach. Now, stomach sleepers tend to prefer firmer mattresses. Uh, you know, it's like me and a lot of people, uh, your hips tend to be a heavier portion of your body, so they push further into the mattress. If you're sleeping on your stomach, that means your back's gonna be a little out of whack, so it can cause aches and pains in your lower back. Uh, again, this is one of the plush versions of the mattress, so I definitely feel my hips sinking into the uh, moon, Helix Moonlight here. Uh, if you're a, you know, a stomach sleeper like I am, uh, you're gonna wanna look at one of the firmer versions of uh, the Helix line to help keep that spinal line in a good position. All right, now we're gonna check out the feel and firmness for the Helix Midnight mattress, and you can tell the difference by this blue stripe along the side here. It's a little bit darker than the Moonlight. All of the mattresses in the Helix line have a different colored uh, stripe around there, kind of differentiating between the models. Uh, so we're gonna press into the cover, and the first thing I feel is that memory foam layer and the comfort layer. Really, as opposed to the Moonlight, which had a little bit more bounce to it, this has its slow response to pressure, and I can feel it kind of contouring around my hands, kind of hugging uh, whatever presses into the mattress there. So as I lie on my back here, uh, you know, it's funny, I do feel a bit firmer support on the Midnight than on the Moonlight. I think uh, kind of in that, you know, mid-range six, six and a half out of 10 on the furnace scale. But because it is memory foam, I am sinking into that comfort layer. I can feel it contouring around my body. It's definitely a little bit more challenging to change position as opposed to that latex alternative foam, which has more of a bounce. You feel more on top of it. Definitely feel a little bit more in the midnight. So look. Get over here towards the side of the mattress. <laughs> Again, we're gonna push through those softer foams uh, when you're checking out the edge support here, uh, but the pocketed coil system on the midnight as well as on the moonlight does a pretty good job of supporting uh, the edge here so I can sleep pretty far over to the side. Don't have to worry about rolling out of bed. <laughs> I can move over here onto my side. You know, memory foam tends to be a really good uh, material for side sleepers is allows you to sink in for pressure relief. The Midnight is one of two medium feel uh, mattresses in the Helix line and it is kind of the uh, side sleeper specific or, or side sleeper aimed medium feel mattress. Uh, so even though it is a little bit firmer than the Moonlight mattress was, uh, it's still pretty good for side sleepers. I still feel pretty comfortable over here uh, as I'm able to sink into that memory foam comfort layer. So I'm gonna roll onto my stomach. You know, again, uh, the Midnight is a little bit firmer than the Moonlight, so I do feel a little bit more supported in my hips, but as I mentioned before, is great uh, for stomach sleepers to get like a firmer feel, keep their hips lined in a good position. Uh, however, with Memory Foam, I do feel like my hips are still sinking into this mattress a little bit. Helix does have firmer mattresses, firmer versions of this mattress. Uh, so if you are a strict stomach sleeper, you probably wanna check out one of their firmer versions. Uh, but you know, everyone can feel the firmness of a mattress a little bit differently because of different size and weight distribution. So for reference, about 5'10", 190 pounds. So if you would like a few other people's opinions on the firmness of these mattresses and a little bit more detailed description on the feel of them, you can check out the written review at sleepopolis.com. Now, instead of just describing the feel of the new Helix mattresses to you, I want to give you a visual representation of where pressure points might form while lying on the mattress. So to do that, I've laid out this pressure map on top. I'm going to lie down on it in a few different positions, and you're going to see the results next to me ranging from blue for low pressure 
to red for high pressure. I'm gonna start out on the moonlight, but I will hit the midnight next. Now let's take a look at the pressure map on the Helix Midnight mattress. Next up, to give you an idea of the bounce of these new Helix mattresses, I have this 10 pound seal ball. I'm dropping it here. I'm on the midnight mattress here. You can see there's pretty good bounce from the uh, pocketed coil system. It does die down pretty quickly uh, because that memory foam doesn't really have that quick response to pressure. I also ran this test on the Helix Moonlight as well. That's a much bouncier mattress has that quick response to pressure combined with the bounciness of the pocketed coil system. So a lot of bounce, a lot of mobility on that mattress. And while we're here, also gonna run a quick motion transfer test. And I ran this on both uh, mattresses. And basically I dropped this 10 pound steel ball from heights of four, eight and 12 inches. And that's gonna simulate someone kind of getting into and out of bed or rolling around in the middle of the night. And on the other side of the mattress, I have a seismometer that kind of checks the disturbance that's transferred across the bed with each of those drops. Now we're gonna have both results up on screen now and we can, so we can compare them. I would say that the uh, Helix Moonlight, which is that light blue ring around it, the plusher feel has a lot of motion transfer across the mattress. It's a really bouncy mattress with that latex alternative. You're gonna see a lot of disturbance transferred across the surface of the bed. Uh, the Helix Moon, or Midnight, excuse me, uh, is a bit more on average with what I expect out of kind of the hybrid bend the box market that you're gonna see. It still has a bit of motion transferred across because of that uh, pocketed coil support system is pretty bouncy, but memory foam is really good at dampening uh, motion transfer. So it keeps it, you know, really short. It dies down really quickly. So overall, I would say uh, the Moonlight has a lot of motion transfer and the Midnight is about average with what I see in this market. Now, a lot of people buying a mattress are gonna wanna know if they're gonna feel like they're sitting on top of or sinking into bed. So to test this, I've set up the sinkage test in which we use four balls of varying sizes, weights, and densities to simulate different body parts and check to see how far into the mattress they sink. Now, I set up this test on both the Helix Moonlight and Midnight versions of the mattress. I'm just showing it to you here on the Midnight, but I got the readings for both. So basically we have this six pound medicine ball. It's filled with sand, simulates a lighter body part, actually sunk into both mattresses about an inch and a half. Here we have this 10 pound steel ball as the densest ball used during this test. And it actually had the same reading for both the midnight and moonlight mattress as well uh, of two and a half inches of sinkage. The differences start to come in here with the 50 pound medicine ball. It's filled with sand, same way it's a heavier body part. Think maybe like your shoulder area, your hips. Uh, on the moonlight mattress, it sunk into the, it sunk in about four and a half inches and here on the midnight about four inches. So you see that the softer mattress has a little bit more sinkage, uh, provide a little bit more pressure relief. It's a, not a big difference, but a little bit of a difference. And here we have the hundred pound medicine ball over here. If you're a bit bigger, assuming it's kind of the center of your body and we see on the min midnight mattress that we're on right now, about five and a half inches of sinkage into the mattress. Uh, and on the moonlight mattress, there is about six and a half inches of sinkage. Now, the average when I test this for uh, the 100 pound medicine ball is about six inches. So kind of either side of that, you start to see with the 50 and 100 pound balls that as you get a little bit heavier, 
the firmness of the mattress, like the mi midnight mattress starts to show up with a little bit less sinkage. You're gonna sink into the mattress a little bit less than on the moonlight. However, the materials that are used in the comfort layer uh, are gonna change the feel a little bit. So even though there is less sinkage on the midnight mattress, you're gonna feel that kind of hug around your body from the memory foam. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit tougher to change positions than on the moonlight where you're sinking in a little bit more, but it is that latex alternative. So that quick response pressure, a little bit more mobility on that mattress. All right, just to give you some basic information about Helix mattresses, they come with a 100 night trial period, a 10 year warranty, and they ship free and arrive compressed in a box. Now, one of the reasons I really like the Helix line overall is that they have a wide variety of feels and firmnesses, so it will fit for a number of different types of sleeping preferences. They even have two split firmness options, so if you and your partner like different firmness levels on the mattress, you can check one of those out. Uh, I would also say that I liked both the midnight and moonlight versions of the mattress I tested out today for pressure relief. Uh, even though they provide different feels, a little bit different firmnesses and different materials, I was pretty comfortable in multiple positions on both, and we did see a great response for both of them on the pressure mat portion of the review. Now, one of the reasons I really like the Moonlight version was that it provides great mobility. The quick response to pressure of that latex alternative comfort layer combined with the bounce of the pocketed coil uh, support system uh, really allowed me to change positions easily. I definitely felt more on top of the bed than in it, even though there was some sinkage as it is a uh, softer feel, a plusher feeling mattress. Now, the reason I really like the uh, Midnight mattress is the uh, memory foam feel while still providing support. You know, a lot of memory foam mattresses, uh, you just kind of sink right into uh, with no support. You kind of feel like you're pushing through the bed and getting swallowed up by it. I found that the uh, Midnight mattress provided a good memory foam feel with still some good support from that pocketed coil support system. Now, those are some general recommendations, but if you are interested in a personal recommendation, please feel free to leave a note in the comment section below with some information about yourself and some of your sleep references, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, uh, if your mattress buying search has just begun, you don't really know what you should be looking for in a mattress, Google Sleepopolis and Mattress Buying Guide. It's gonna have a ton of information in there about mattresses. It's gonna help you find the perfect match uh, for your new bed. Also, if you haven't started following us on Facebook, please do and subscribe to the Sleepopolis YouTube channel if you haven't already, because we're gonna keep putting out more content that's gonna help you get a better night's sleep. So that's it for the review today. I hope it was helpful. Have a nice day.